Howdy, Lou. Are you folks going to catch a 915? Yep. Must have lost my charm. Couldn't talk him into staying any longer. Oh, Lou, we couldn't have had a nicer time visiting you and Emma, but we do have to get back. Train's going to be a half hour late. Oh, no! Oh, Dr. Brady isn't leaving until tonight. You'll be back in plenty of time. <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. Uh, what can I do for you? We come a long way, and we'd like to get a drink of water. Help yourself. Water bucket's inside. Thank you, Captain. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Just like I said. Hey, Duke. What about them people out there? They ain't gonna bother us none, Shorty. Come on. What do you boys want? Just get that safe open in there and won't nobody be hurt. Safe? Oh, well, well, I can't open that safe. I... Get inside there, all of you. Come on, Larry. Get. You better get that shoe fixed, young man, if you're going to be a safe robber. It just won't open. You'd better not lie to me, mister. You know what's good for you. No, no, they, they sent this new one out and the combination just don't work. Hey, you shorty, you go get her. Don't you get on that horse, that saddle. Hey, get off there. You heard, miss? No, I'm not. I tried to warn you about that saddle. Yeah. And I don't need any help from you. No call to act snippety. Now you've broken Duke's saddle. Sure gonna make him mad. You're gonna have to fix it before that train gets in. We got us a holdup going on. You ain't gonna mess it up. Go on. Pick it up. Go on. Go on. I tell you, mister, this combination just won't work. I'm going to count to ten. If that safe ain't open, I'm going to blow a hole right through your vest button. One, two, three. I swear to Moses, mister, they put the paper and the money for the cattle shipping in here, closed her up, and now nobody can get it open. Three, four, five. They sent all the way to St. Louis for a new set of numbers. Shut up. Six. 
seven. Oh, put that thing away. You shut up and get back over if there. If you we'll shoot him, he never can tell you the combination. But I don't know it. When I get to ten, I'm going to blow the biggest hole in you since Garberville. Now, you better get that thing open. Please, mister. Please. I swear I can't open this safe. There ain't a train do, is there? Hey, huh? There ain't a train do, is there? This guy keeps looking at his watch. No, there ain't no train do. I checked. There ain't no train do for two hours. Now, leave me alone with my accountant, seven. Well, you checked wrong. The train for Stockton is overdue right now. Why do you suppose we're waiting here? I said I checked, and there ain't no train do. Better make a run for your horses. You, you, you just shut up and stay out of my business. What, what, what are we going to do, Duke? Hell, would you take him back there in that room and, and, and lock him up, and, uh, and the rest of you, you stay right where you are. You get back inside there. Go on. Go on. You try signal that train or anything, they'll want to shoot you, you understand? And I want you to sit over there on the bench with me. Mother, the train is... Yes, I know, dear. Do you mind if my daughter catches the train? You can keep me here. Yes, I do, man. So do you take her in there and shut her up? I'm not going in that baggage room. Come on, to do what he says. Please, miss, you don't understand. You have take to do your what... hands off Just me. Do what... <laughs> and you! And you! Don't you try nothing, because I'd just soon shoot you look at you. Oh, no, I, I promise. You know, you really don't have to shoot anyone. I figured out how to check up on that safe combination. You don't be figuring out nothing except sit there and be quiet. If they wrote to St. Louis about the safe, there will be a copy of the letter in the files. Yeah, what'll that prove? Well, it'll prove he wasn't lying. Hey, Duke, couldn't we just make a run for it? No! Get back in there and be quiet. We're staying. Now, what good will that do if you can't get the safe open? Hello, Henry. Hi. Oh, did you know your fire barrel had a hole in it? Oh, sure. Well, how many passengers you got? None. None? Thought you were going to have passengers. You had the flag out. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, no passengers, none at all. Something wrong with you, Henry? No, nothing at all. We're waiting for the southbound. We won't be here till this afternoon. It's all right, we'll wait. Well, Henry, you're behind schedule already. Are you sure you're feeling all right? You ain't got the grip or something. No, I'm perfectly all right. Fine. All right. Oh, uh, let me get that fire barrel fixed. The superintendent won't like it. Of the letter you wrote to St. Louis. Copy? You manage your own business. Well, if you wrote a letter about the safe, there ought to be a copy of it in the files. Oh, I, I never thought. But... Hey, Duke. She bit my thumb. Can't you do anything right? How come you let her out of the sack? I didn't. Elwood did. Elwood! Hmm? Put her back in that sack. Oh, I did already. <laughs> I had enough of childish behavior. Hey, you. Get back in there. Get back in there. You too, you get in here. Here it is, he wasn't lying. Bill of lading and payment. Tony, come in. You read on that. Dear sir, we have not been able to get the safe open on the numbers you sent. See, I told you. Hey, Duke, it says here $3,000. Three thousand dollars. We didn't figure but a couple hundred. <laughs> 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 
you boys believe me now, won't you? I told you everything's going to work out all right. You see, I told you. You still got to get the safe open. Look, do you really want to take this money? It doesn't belong to the railroad, you know. It belongs to a lot of people, payment for cattle shipments. Now, I'm a telling you for the last time. Shut up! Get yourself over there on that bench and sit down and quit flapping your jaw every time I turn around. Now. Let's pull this thing out here and see what you look like, boy. <laughs> Hell, would you take him out back, get every tool he's got. Crowbars, sledge, hammers, augers, bracing bench, what not. Go on, hey. get, get, get. <laughs> Come on, Jordy. <laughs> One, two. I don't think you'll ever get it open. I told you, and I told you, one more word. And that's my final warning! Maybe we can bust it open underneath. Nope. One of them there hinges is, is the best place to hit it. Keep the jar loose, ain't it? No, it's gonna take a couple more by the doggies. I, I bet you're getting it, Shorty. You sure got the paint bunged up. Hey, you got a little dent right there. <laughs> Progress. Can't you set Summers else? You're gonna get yourself hurt. Oh, I thought you were going to kill me anyhow. Shorty, go get that big hammer. We're gonna try the rock drill. I might point out that the metal in that safe is a lot harder than the metal in the drill. How'd you know that? My husband was in mining. Did he ever bust open a safe? No, of course not, but... Lady... I know. Shut up. That's right. Because you don't know nothing about it, then, do you? Hellwood, you take him and go get a rope and some block and tackle. We gonna turn her upside down. <laughs> What are you doing now? Getting a sandwich and some lemonade. Oh, it's still cold. Would you like some? No, we ain't hungry. Well, there's plenty. Mr. Johnson made more than we could possibly eat. We ain't got no time for that. Elwood, come up there on that safe and rig up that block and tackle of them rafters. Come on now, hurry up. <laughs> What are you 
you doing? I'm going to get this door open. Audra, I know how you feel, but those are desperate men. There's no telling what they'll do if we cross them. I'm still going to get out of here. Ouch! What happened? I broke my fingernail. What kind of sandwiches are they, man? Oh, a ham, and I think that's turkey. He don't want one. I don't think it's up to you to decide whether he wants a sandwich or not. Sure, sure, thank you, man. We didn't have no supper last night. You sure you don't want one? All right, Elwood, would you plumb down now? Now, get a hold. We got to hoist her up to us so we can get her high enough to tipple her over. Come on, pull. Steady now. Pull, hon. Shorty, don't stand there stuffing your face. Get over here and hip out. Hmm. All right, now. Breathe. Get a swing on her, I can't tip her over. Don't you think you better give up? No, I'm not giving up. And I'm not leaving here until we get this $3,000. How many grits and sour belly ain't the only thing in this world? And I want to get my share. I want you to understand that. Uh, boys, I, I, I don't want to get you mad or nothing, but uh, when that southbound pulls in here, somebody's going to notice that something's, well, not right. Elwood, get the horses. We going to leave, Duke? Shorty, if you want to leave, you get. But don't you never come back. When our daddy died, he had five cents. Five cents in an old tobacco can. And I'm going to have more than that for me and my kin. You come over here and help me out with them ropes now. Well, well now I, I don't think I ought to help you. Well, I mean, in my position, I'm supposed to prevent you from what you're doing, not help you. you... There, by doggies. That'll keep you out of my hair. What are we gonna do, dude? Get over there and get the wagon, Shorty. Oh, I'll take care of these ropes here. Just knock them in there, too. Mess them around. Uh, do you mind if I ask you what you're doing now? Yes, I do mind. You go in there and bring me back two of them sandwiches. But well, I thought you said you weren't hungry. And how'd you like to be not clear the next Tuesday and don't think I won't do her either? He sure will, ma'am. I promise you that. Well, would you mind if I let my daughter and Mr. Johnson out of the baggage room and got them something to eat? No. Oh, I promise you, Audra won't make any trouble. Well, she better not. Audra, Lou. Mother. You both all right. That's what fine. Mother, they put that I back on us and you would be quiet, Audra. What are you doing? Getting them something to eat. You're feeding them? Audra, a man is less likely to kill if his stomach is full. Besides, I'm trying to get help. What good is this going to do us, dude? Team of horses can't pull no door off no safe. We're going to slide through that door, slide it across the porch, and on to the wagon. Then we're going to haul it off with us. Duke, <laughs> I sure got to hand it to you. You ain't never stumped. You figure a thing out. Well, ain't you the one to say so. Shorty, you go in there and pry up on that safe on them rappers. <laughs> One ham, one turkey. Would you like some watermelon pickle? No. 
I wouldn't want to get knocked into next Tuesday. Woman, you just better stay clean out of my way. I don't think that door is going to be wide enough for the safe to get through. I'm not going to help you steal that money. You help me with this, I'll hit you with this rock drill. You think I like doing this? Do get some of the damn blasted notions a man ever just get. There. Try out stealing cattle in New Mexico and every one of them skinny critters had hoof and mouth disease. Dug six months for gold. All we got was $14. $14. I'm sorry, but it's not going to fit through that door. Ha! Ha! Outside, all right. <laughs> but but uh, how are you going to get her in the wagon? You got any dynamite? Dynamite? What would I be doing with dynamite? Train, she meant. It's got to be. The next one's not till eight. Conductor, did you make a stop at Bixby Flats? Yeah, sure did. Did you pick up any passengers there? Nope. There wasn't anyone there at all? A woman and her daughter? A lady waiting for the southbound. Man with her, no daughter. Ah, they must have missed a train and changed her mind. Nice looking lady, sort of well dressed? Yep. They're waiting for the southbound. Was there a young girl with her uh, blonde? Nope, just an ornery looking man wearing buckskin pants. Uh, the lady had silver hair, wore it up yep. kind of like. Oh, the boy! That was a Bigsby Flats? Yep. Bigsby Flats. Telegrapher. I'd like to send a telegraph to Bigsby Flats, station agent. Bigsby Flats? Uh, the station hasn't answered anything for, oh, the last two hours. Now the line's down? Couldn't be. The next station south is getting through all right. We had some funny signals there for a while, but now, nothing. Well, would you try it again? All right. Won't do any good. shack we camped that is our only chance there's dynamite there and ain't nobody around look on us but do we need to take them along they ain't gonna be nobody a shooting at us they would as long as they're sitting in the wagon robbery is five years in prison and kidnapping is 50. i i, I just thought i'd mention it. when i want to what makes you think you can get away with this you know somebody's bound to get shorty go inside and bring me back a mail sack Oh, I, I don't think that will be necessary. Shorty, bring back two. Two. There's one thing I can't stand. It's a Gabby D. Woman. Go get on, Lulu! Doggy, is that all to do her? She'll glide along like a feather in a lake. And the law will be falling us, Elwood. Oh, like fleas to a dog, shorty. 
what's it Pa used to say about a beer fight. Oh, there ain't no way to quit once you start. Just keep clawing till one or the other of you is chewed up. <laughs> that's us, and that's safe. I see you, you shorty, you're running off at the mouth. Come on! You'll be home by tomorrow, sure. Tomorrow happens to be too late. Something special going on? Very special. Boyfriend, I suppose. Well, you can see him the next day. He'll be gone by then. I'm sorry. Well, if you're so sorry, then why don't you let us go? Sorry you shut up that talking and watch back there and see if we're tailed. I thought she might have something special going on, like an uncle was going to die or something. Or she's going to get married or something. Brady Mosier passed the examinations for West Point. The whole town's giving him a send-off. I was going to join the army once. Both cavalry. Pays $13 a month. He'll be an officer. What are you doing? You're making it tighter. Well, if you hold still a minute, maybe I could get something done. What'd they say? Help coming? No. They're just telling me I'm fired if I don't answer and tend to business. Come on. Shorty, give me some rocks, and I want you to make a pile right over there. So would you. What are you doing? Just shut up. I want to leave a note. Can you write? Of course you can. Don't get smart, lady. There ain't no of course to it. Yes, I can. And I want you to write what I tell you on this piece of paper. You write. Uh, stop here. We'll be turned loose when the money is got out of the safe. How do you spell got? Shut up and write. They'll kill us, but we ain't hurt now. And you sign both your names to that. Elwood, come over here. They're going to follow us for sure. You take this here rifle and get up there on them rocks. If this note don't work, you shoot, and you shoot good. That's real good, shorty. Right there in the middle of the trail, they'll have to stumble over. Duke? Can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, go ahead. No, I, I mean sort of private. You ain't getting no notions, are you, Shorty? This ain't no notion, Duke. I want to ask you something. Well? about where to put this. Duke, we ain't going to... You wouldn't shoot them women, would you?
took them both and said we better not follow. We better not plan on doing any wild shooting either. He's a railroad detective, and it's their money. All right, railroad detective, let's go. Very well, gentlemen. made a mess. Some people never can do nothing neat. Whoa. Dynamite's in that sack right over there, Shorty. Mr. Duke. What? Would you please untie us? No. We're nothing to be afraid of. And I promise you we won't run away. Well, all right. You start getting Gabby, you understand? You keep an eye on him, Shorty, none time. I'm gonna get that dynamite. nothing to do with this, only Duke wanted Well, you don't need to explain to me. I guess anyone has the right to be a thief and a murderer if, if they want to be. I, I ain't a thief and murderer. Oh. I suppose you're just borrowing that safe over there. Well, I ain't murdered anybody. Don't tell me. You shoot us in cold blood just as soon as look at us. All in the name of heavenly tarnation we wanted to get out of that safe was four or five hundred dollars. So we could get us out of this country and buy us a little ranch. No harm done. These are the caps, the ones that blow up. I know that. Mr. Duke, I don't want to tell you your business. Don't call me mister. All right, Duke. But if you dry these caps, they'll blow up. That sets off the dynamite. That's the whole idea. How you know that? Oh, believe me, take my word for it. Now, if you take some of these caps and attach them... To... I just bet you that you want to go in partnerships with us, don't you, and get no. some of our money? No, no, I'm just trying to get home without being blown up. Yeah, I'll bet you that. The pretty woman ain't out bigger than me. Sorry. After I untie that safe, I want you to take this team over there to the shack and take that Gabby woman with you. You untie on that rope there. Honey, you shot it. Quit lollygags that woman and haul off that wagon. Got you, Duke. Get along, man. Give me them caps. Oh, Duke, this is nonsense. You don't know what you're doing. You're going to blow us Three thousand dollars ain't no nonsense. No, it's money, but it's only money. Only money. Well, I guess you wasn't ever poor, was oh, you? Oh, yes, I was, Duke. Yes, I was. But I know what you're doing here doesn't make any sense. Yeah, well, me and El Wood and Shorty go down to Mexico and get us a ranch. And that'll be it. We're going to get us a horse ranch, and we ain't going to worry no more about nothing. You're like someone who believes in Santa Claus. Life just doesn't work out that way, Duke. Nah. Oh, for heaven's sake, you're going to blow us all up. Come on, now, wait. Put this back. Come on, gently. gently. Now, give me a length of fuse. Duke got that leg shot up in the war. Been honorary ever since. I never thought I'd live to see the day my mother was blowing up a safe. Now, you bring the rest of the dynamite.
I'd say it. Well, you said it. Oh, they're going to use an awful lot of dynamite. We'd better get behind the shack. You'd better let me do that, Duke. That's a short fuse. We're going to have to run. I can run. Don't be a hardhead. Ain't easy. She wouldn't say it like that. They told her what to write. Let's try her out. I'll All tell right. you, there's a lot of money in that safe. Three thousand dollars. I'd give them three thousand dollars right now if they turned Mother and Order loose. What? And let those men get away with robbery? Besides, there's twenty thousand dollars in that safe. Station agent said three thousand. Well, I'm telling you, twenty thousand. That was a special shipment, railroad business. They must have a lookout posted somewhere in those rocks. I think I'll take a walk up there. Maybe they might talk if I... 
Take off the gun. Yeah, I'll go with you. You can keep the money! Turn the women loose! Where did that shot come from? Somewhere up there. You're not gonna let that stop you, are you? That's right. Nobody else is going busting up there shooting either. Money in that safe ain't the reason we're here, mister. That's only paper. Paper? That's railroad money. Speak for what's your own. I am. Somewhere up there is our mother and our sister. Duke, you've been in that thing for an hour now. You got any better ideas? Duke, it's not too late to change your mind. Get on your horses and ride out. You'd like that, wouldn't you? There are thousands of possible combinations. Now, you'll be here a month, and I don't think Elwood can hold off those men that long. Duke, you ain't never gonna get that thing open. Why don't we do what she says? Shut up! Look, I'll go get Elwood. We can get out of here. Shut up! I'm a gonna get that money out of that sheriff's safe if I have to die trying, and I don't mind telling you I wouldn't mind killing somebody along with it. I ain't been nothing, I ain't nothing, but I ain't gonna be nothing no more. You, shorty, come here. Go ahead, shoot me, Duke. I don't care. You need the combination. Now send Audra down for it. You can keep me here. You'd love to get her out of here, wouldn't you? That's right. But she'll bring back the combination, and then you set us free. Mother, I'm not going to go and leave you here alone. You'll do what the Duke says. Good. And now get rid of you, you flaxen-haired old mouth woman. I'm plumb wore out of tying you up. And you can tell them down there that I'm going to shoot your maw if they don't do what I say. Or do you tell them I'm all right, but they have to help us get the safe open. Tell them if they don't, that the Duke is just mean enough to... Well, you convince them. Don't need no convincing. Old Duke is not really mean, he's just stubborn. And if you used that stubbornness in the right direction, you'd be the richest man in three counties. Audra, get going. And you tell him down there you better come back by yourself. You dead burn, chunk of morn, you dead nip. <laughs> Where are you going? It's Audra. Audra! Audra. Is Mother all right? And they won't hurt her if you can get them the combination of the safe so they can get the money. We'll get it. Don't worry you, about it. You mean the safe hasn't been opened? The money's still in there? And they promise to let her go if I bring back the combination. If you bring it back, oh, no, no, no. We're going to bring it back. Oh, no, Nick, I have to. That's what they said. Well, I'm not authorized to give the combination to anyone. You mean you got the combination with you? Well, well I have no authorization to give it to you or anyone else. Hand it over. But I can't do that. You see, I have no authorization. But you, you, you can't do that. You'll be helping to get away with the money. One turn left to 17, back one turn to 24, three turns left to six. But you'll be as guilty as they are. And you'll be guilty of murder, mister, if those women don't come back. All right, we got to let's go. No, they said me. And I don't want anything to go wrong. All right. I'll be back in a little while. What are you doing? 
Are you getting ready to go to church or something? Nope. I just hate to let myself get run down in my appearance. There ain't nothing wrong with the way you look. For a saddle bum. Not for decent people. Like girls or somebody like that. Shorty, it doesn't matter how a man looks. It's what he is. People look at me like I was dirt. Always have. You know, Shorty, deep down I think you're a very decent person. You're just saying that because you want to get away. But I know different. Duke won't let us go. Shorty, you want a piece of cake? Yeah. How about you, Duke? Want a piece of cake? No! Well, it's chocolate. I don't care what... Now, Duke, I know how to use this. Yes, ma'am. I just bet you you do. Shorty, pick up that shotgun, Shorty. And, ma'am, if you turn around, I'll get you. If you don't, Shorty will. Shorty, get on your horse and ride out. The whole thing isn't worth it. Shorty, pick up that shotgun, Shorty. Duke. There ain't no sense going on with this. Shorty, you better do what I tell you. I ain't gonna shoot no woman. Well, what do you want her to do, shoot me? Let me go, that's all I ask. Then you can do anything you want. Please, Duke. Shorty, if they come up here looking for her and she ain't around, they're going to gun us down. Mother! I'm all right, dear. I'm all right. We ain't the kind of people that does that. Or wants it. Any of it. And if you do, you ain't my brother. It's your combination. Open today. No, and here's your combination. Oh, thank you. thing on the wagon. We'll take it back to the station. I'll get it open if I have to use dynamite. <laughs> 